probably around about 17, 18. Oh, Floyd was a cool cat, man. Robin Hood to the hood. Not Ford Heights, but East Chicago Heights, goddamn originated. To the B, to the O, to the Z, I, E. BDP, goddammit, and Floyd was a cool, smooth guy and stuff, you know, kicking it and stuff. Real smooth brother and stuff, you know. After he started making that money and stuff, you know, he got a little ruthless and stuff, you know, but that come with the territory and stuff, but he was still Robin Hood to East Heights. Not Ford Heights, East Heights, goddammit. His name was ringing real tough because he had all the fancy cars. He had little, little Richie Rich, Daryl Kays, the solid brother, goddammit. Flouncings and stuff, you know, he was putting on and stuff, riding all in the fancy shit, drop tops, everything. Four wheelers, motorcycles, you name it and stuff. He had it in the beginning. The Power Floyd head in East Chicago Heights. He was just like Otis Moore in Chicago Heights. He was running things and shit. He was the man, he was the kingpin and stuff, you know. Like I say, he was putting the young brothers on, you know, him and his man Oscar and stuff, they were doing their thing and shit, you know. I looked it up to him and stuff, you know. He was a smooth brother. I miss him, though. Yeah, I remember um, Anthony Hill, the bullshit hit man and stuff, who got hit, did a bullshit, bullshit drive-by on Floyd and stuff, you know, made that one call to his man, Jack. You know, Jack don't handle that business, hang the motherfucker in these hikes. You know, fuck him. He don't know nothing about being no hit man. Hit man got hit, goddammit. Fuck him. Fuck that cracker. Yeah. Goddamn good. Ain't that hit man. Yeah, I gave him an interview, man. Yeah, they set the blue house on one of his um, one of his crack houses on fire and stuff. You know, jacked up the dirty ass, set it up. But it was um, East Heights them came out there and put it out and stuff. You know, they when they got their choppers and shot the motherfuckers up from the fire trucks, the ambulance, all them motherfuckers, all them riding motherfuckers and shit. Yeah, yeah. Florida Hank was riding around in the blue drop top all day and shit, riding past Jack and shit. You know. Hank went to Jack Doe and stuff like he had some milk and stuff. Gave him a couple of shots, but the scary motherfucker was running and shoot, grazed him in the shoulder and shit. Motherfucker don't know about no damn killing and shit, you know. You, you, you gotta kill a motherfucker in broad daylight and blow their motherfucker brains out. That's real talk from BDP, the finest. Worldwide. What brought Jack and Floyd friendship to the end? Jack crossed him and stuff, you know. And that just ended up everything. You couldn't trust him no more. He was the man looking out for him and shit, and then he double crossed him and shit. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. Fuck him. A snake in the grass. I remember the most about Floyd and stuff. Like I say, all the fancy cars, putting brothers on and shit, you know, and doing this little thug, this or shit. Real smooth, cool brother and shit. I like you guys to remember Floyd as don't fuck with me. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. So don't come to me with that bullshit, goddammit. Real tough to the, all the rest of the scary ass brothers out here. In, not Ford Heights, but East Chicago Heights and stuff, you know. All you hating ass motherfucking bitch ass niggas, goddamn. Floyd was a cool guy and stuff, you know. If he wasn't cool with you, you must have been on some old snake in the grass ass shit. Like you motherfuckers, Zills, you know, goddamn. Any motherfucker got a motherfucking problem, come and see me, goddamn.